good day. Welcome back to the Aston Villa career mode. Right, guys, I have done a bit, bit of business. Not not proper business, but I've done some business off camera. Um, because we haven't really got money to buy anyone decent enough now. I'm basically I'm putting all my money towards players for next season. Hopefully, um, whether we can sign them, I don't know. Uh, let me just get some rid of some of these. Let's remove these three here. Uh, so we've already snapped these guys up for next season. Um, we've got a 77 rated goalkeeper, which is like six foot uh, four, decent. Uh, this right winger uh, has got some pace. He's going to be good for us. Uh, he's got some. He's got the power for a kick. He's got flair. So that's good enough. Lewis Holtby's always been a you know a fairly decent player. Um, even if he's just a squad player, it'd be good. And I've actually found uh, four more players here who are all running out of contract. So we have the chance here to you know actually snap these guys up quite cheaply. Um, Main guy is, I've heard about this guy, and apparently he's quite good. Look, at, he's already got these stars by his name here. So there must be something about him. Um, a speed dribbler, which I like. I'm going to go for this guy first, because this guy I really do want. I'm not really sure how much to offer him, though. It's the only problem. Um, he wants crucial straight away, but he's interested. That's the main thing. I think this episode might mainly just be transfer stuff. Um, whether we play a game or not, I don't know. It definitely won't be two games like normal. Um, and he wants a two-year deal. We'll give him three if he can. Please, like that. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to do two games. Maybe, maybe we do one. Depends how long we do transfers for. Um, but yeah, it might just be the one. He doesn't want to do a release clause, which is fine by me. Uh, okay, so he's given me a wage this time, which is good. I like that. Um, let's counter this. Let's remove the bonus. That's what I always try and do first. Remove the bonus and see how much extra he wants. See, that's fine by me. I'll accept that. Happy days. We've got a good player there coming coming to the club. Um, maybe we should. No, no. We'll just wait. We'll wait till next season. Uh, okay. Anyway, next player, Marillo. I, I know he's a good, a little good defender as well. Power header, dives into chat tackles. We've got um, Johannes Geis. I guess his name is. God, he's got some good stats. I'm gonna go for this guy next because we do need a CDM. We've got uh, Yednak. He's not on with us anymore. We haven't really got a CDM, really, have we? Well, if we can get to guy in, then happy days. Uh, he wants two years, so again, hopefully we can get a three-year deal for him. Hopefully we'll accept that. He's happy. Hopefully they give me a wage as well. I hate when I have to give the wage. Fuck! Um, I know this guy's good, so we're probably going to have to offer good money. So we try 40. See what he says. Fuck! <laughs> Probably could have gotten for much cheaper. <laughs> oh well, 40 grand. Okay. How is the bank looking now then? We signed a top player, so it should be better than the most of our team, so that's all, that's all good. And if we're in the Premier League next season, then we should have enough. But the looks of it, we've still got a quite a, quite a decent you know, kitty left, so uh, we'll try and sign the other two as well if we can. Uh, I'll go for Markovic next. I don't know, this guy, he hasn't lived up to what he was supposed to be, but I still think he's a good player. Got some pace in that right wing, which will do is nice. Uh, we'll give him important. Hopefully, he'll take that. Okay, that's good. I, I would have thought he would have wanted crucial. Um, four years. He wanted two years, so hopefully, he'll accept the three. He's happy. And that's our Markovic. No release clause, which is fine by me. No, I want them to offer money. Uh, I'm sure this guy's done a lot of money as well. So if we offer like 37.5, we might just say fuck off. I don't know. That might be too much. I don't know. Okay, no, it's roughly roughly what he wants. If we just do this, then let's remove the bonus. We'll do that. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? We'll take it. God, we we signed loads of players here, you boys. Next one. <laughs> oh, I approach the buy. Ah, oh, I thought this guy had... See, on Football Manager, this guy has actually got uh, less than six months left. Obviously, in this game, he hasn't, so... Um, but it is what it is. Anyway, we've signed a bunch of guys here, which I'm very happy with. Um, it's definitely more depth for next season as well. Um, so, yeah, happy days. How much money have we got now? Has it actually... Have... Yeah, it does affect the transfer budget a bit. Um, whether there's anyone else, I'm not really too sure. Um, we'll have a, I'll have a quick look off camera now. Uh, maybe I'll come back with a few people. So confirmation there. Mila Yednak is leaving the club. But we have uh, signed him. 
Uh, signed the replacement for him already, which is good. Uh, Morris wants, uh, he's got a loan offer for him here, which we will accept. Give him some game time. Right, guys, we've got a few more players here. I know it's quite weird that I'm just signing over players for next season, but literally, I have no money to sign anyone this season. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, my phone is just. <laughs> My phone's just gone on a, uh, gone off. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm struggling uh, to sign players this season. So, basically, I'm gambling that we're going to get promoted next season. I think we will. I think we'll get there in the end. Um, but, yeah, we're going to need some pl decent players next season. And we are really struggling for, for you know, squad depth this season already. So, um, we're going to have to sell in as many players as possible, pretty much. Um, I've got two goalkeepers here. I know we've already signed one. But these two are quite good, I've so I've heard and so I've seen. Um obviously you know, people probably know this guy more than this guy. This guy is younger though. Um and taller? No, he's not taller. Hmm. Who do we sign? I, I might go for both and see what they say. Um But anyway, uh one one place we do need to strengthen definitely is the centre back area. This guy, we've already scouted him actually, so we are gonna go for this guy. Maybe we can uh, get him on board. It'll be good if we can. Squad roll. It'll probably be a crucial. That's what he wants, which is good. Length of deal. Four years, if he'll, if he'll accept that. He wants a two year, so we'll give him a three. If pos. If pos. Three years. He's happy, which is good. He's on 40 grand at the moment. Hopefully they give us an indication. He wants a pay cut. <laughs> he was a bloody paker, boys. Okay, we'll remove the bonus. Then we'll submit that. Okay, he wants quite a lot. Can we go 30? Go over here and go down to go to 30k. Submit that. I think that's a steal, boys. I think that's a bit of a steal, you know. So, we've got makers of a good squad uh, probably not top end Premier League obviously this is still going to be lower end Premier League um, but that's what we're going to be when we go up next season if we do go up obviously um, we have already signed a CDM and we've got a cam coming in we've got another cam here so we're going to leave him to last another goalkeeper would be good um, I'm going to go for this guy first because he just because he is younger um, you, you know you always want to sign the younger player first he wants crucial which we can offer this guy Definitely be giving him a crucial. He wants a three year. If we get him four, four years, that'd be good. Uh, he's happy with that, which is nice. Uh, it's disregard a release clause. Oh my Jesus Christ. So cheap. Um, I'm not sure what rating this guy is. That's the only problem. So I'm not sure if, if that is cheap or not. But he, his stats look good. His stats do look good. Uh, let's counter this. I always like to remove the bonus because they always ask for a lot of money. Um, that's fine by me. I'll, I'll offer him 20. Why not? Um, see, now, now I kind of feel like I don't need to go for this Areola. Because he's probably going to want a lot of money. So we will go for this uh, this guy first. Um, just because we've already got two goalkeepers in now. Uh, as well as Nylands, who's actually doing quite well for me this season. As, even though I have uh, slated him quite a bit. Oh, I did just offer this guy Crucial, which he probably won't be. See if we can get him to a five-year deal. Wants a three year. So we'll offer four. Meet halfway if possible. He's happy, happy days. Uh, he wants a 14 million release clause. I want to deny that, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. 23 grand. Uh, counter, remove bonus, submit, see what they say. Go 25. Put the wage down as much as possible. Submit. Fine. We'll have him. And just either way, we're signing these players on, and we can always just sell them on for uh, for more money. Obviously, when they become permanent. Um, so yeah, that's probably going to be it for now. That's probably the only business we will do. I know they're all going to be coming next season, but we might just have to make do this season because we are struggling for players. Um, this guy, I know he's good, so we'll see. I don't think I will. I don't think I want to sign this guy to be honest. He's probably going to want a lot of money. We'll see. We'll see how much he wants. Because we could just sell him on for next for next season. Just get some money into the club. Three-year deal. Let's go four. 
happy with that. Uh, he's not looking to add a release clause. It's good. If he wants a lot, then we're probably going to say no. He's not asking for a lot. And I know this guy from one with team. I think he's 81 rated. So I think that's quite good. But now we've got three goalkeepers on the books. Who are all on crucial wages. You know, that, I mean, a, a crucial squad role. So do we need him? Is it a waste of money? Don't know what to do here. Um, like I said, we can we can sell him on, can't we? And we are going to sign him for free. Let's remove that, as always. Let's get it down to 35. So I think that's quite good. There we go. Yeah, we'll sign him. Why not? <laughs> We've got so many players coming to us next season, it's mad. But we need the money for the Premier League, and this is the only way we're going to be able to do it. Um, what basically, what I'm trying to do a bit of a storyline this this career mode. Um, you probably noticed I've, I've had I have started winning a lot more games um, this season than I was at the start of the season. Um, Cause I did I did bump the difficulty a bit too high, and I was losing games. I do want to get promoted. Uh, I want the series to be quite fun. So I've started winning a lot more games. When we get to the Premier League, I'm, put, I'm going to put it on that pretty much the hardest difficulty there is because we are going to struggle and I want it to be realistic. So when we get to the Premier League, um, you're going to see me lose a lot of games. Uh, if we have the squad that we have now, we're going to lose every single game. So these players coming in, they are really going to help us, to be honest. Um, so hopefully we do get promoted. If we don't, then we're, you know... We're probably going to be in the shit fun, actually. We will have to sell every single one of them. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so we will get to the, to the Premier League. I'm going to put it on the hardest difficulty. And we are literally going to have to grind out results to stay in the Premier League. That is the aim. Um, Matt Phillips going to Atlanta there. It's quite a weird weird decision to make. But we'll proceed. Uh, we've got a scouting update. We've got an offer for Jonathan Codger, which we will uh, reject again. Because uh, we haven't signed anyone this season, have we? So... Oh, Mar this Morris kid, he keeps he keeps uh, rejecting offers. <laughs> uh, we've got a monthly scan update, so we've got some 94s here. Let's adjust the budgets to sign him. Same with this guy. Same with this guy. And we'll reject these two, because they ain't going to be good enough, I'm afraid. Um, so, yeah, we, you're making, we're making strides, I do believe. Uh, next game is Ipswich. Before that, oh, we've got a loan offer for goalkeeper here. 65 rate goalkeeper. <laughs> Just as we sign fucking three goalkeepers for our team, we've got a, a decent little uh, youngster there, which is quite annoying. Um, I will show you some training. These are still the players I'm doing. Grealish has just hit 80 rated. He's our first 80 rated player this season. I'm looking to make Grealish you know that like the the main guy for the whole of this series. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Learn off for Bradley Phillips. He probably won't go, to be honest. I've accepted a few for him. Like, they keep rejecting him for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it is a bit weird. Um, I see he's rejected a move. Why? Why are you rejecting moves? Um, I don't know. I don't understand. But anyway, we have got a game. We will get into it. Uh, Ipswich Town, though. Where are they in the league at the moment? Uh, they're doing good. In eighth. Eighth place. They're doing really good, to be honest. But, you know, we've got to do what we've got to do. And we've got to beat them. So let's do it. So we are at home, which is good. Hi there, everybody. And the Welcome beautiful, beautiful Villa Park. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to click to turn my noise on. Villa, Although it's still not working. So I don't understand. Anyway, I hope you can hear. Um, <laughs> I don't really know. This is our team, as you can see. Pretty much same old, same old. I've just brought Chester in for... Uh, who is it? Who did I bring him in for? Uh, Scott McKenna. Um, and so, yeah. Pretty much same team. Very strong team out. Let's go. To shout, go with this team so here's today. Ipswich Town's team. Ward, I've heard of Ward. They've got they Danassien on the bench, ex-Villa, um, who I've heard of. Yeah, they don't but to be honest, I haven't heard of a lot of these players. So, the midfielder, Skus, Skus, I don't know, I've heard of him before as well. Um, they do, I think for the players they've got, they are doing very well. So this could be a tricky game, considering I don't know a lot of their players. And the results elsewhere work out as they would want them to be. They could end the day nice. at the again. top of the table. Nice, again. Grealish. Grealish takes his man on. Ah, oh, poor shot in the end. No, 
Lucky mate. Shit, it's a good ball from Sears. It's Grant Ward on the break. He's got a ball in. No one's there. Fair play. Good from Maitland Niles. Can we send Kodja? Can we feed Belassi? We can. Belassi's going to shoot here. There we go. We've got our goal. We are 1 0 up. Stars, we mean to go on. Yana Belassi scores at home for Aston Villa. God, I actually quite like to sign this guy, but obviously we, we, we did sign that other winger to replace him, along with all the other bloody players we've signed. <laughs> so, yeah, we're doing quite well, uh, considering all the players he's been about to sign. So, this will probably be his last season with Villa. Obviously, his first and last, but he's doing good for us, isn't he, Villassi? Come on, boys. Got the shots off. It's fine. No one's going to hit this. Don't feed to Kodge. Balassi doing well. Very good individual. He's doing well here, Balassi. Come on, Sam. Give it to Alan. Give it to Alan. Alan's going to smash it across goal. He finds a Kodge. Oh. <laughs> Nearly. Shit. Shit. Grant Ward breaking through, making strides, just giving it to Sears. Sears, what an awful touch that was. Awful touch from Sears. We haven't got it away properly though, it's Duzzle. Shit on it. Grant Ward! Oh. Inches, inches away from level up there. But we've got away with a 1 0 lead at half time. Rather men and Niles doing great cover. This guy's been in unbelievable for us this season. McGinn looks, looks injured though, to be honest. Man, a nine was gone for a shot. Yeah, probably got to bring McGinn off. He took a bit of a knock there, didn't he? Um, have we got anyone to bring on? Yeah, we've got Connor here around, which is good. We are going to bring Bowdo on as well, get some pace up top. Started with a drop ball. No real trouble for the goalkeeper. Well done, Blassie. Nice. Hurahan. Connor Hurahan finds Grealish. Hurahan! Yes! There we go. The substitute makes a difference already. Tono Villa. What a strike from Connor Hurahan. He's just scored an absolutely unbelievable free kick for us in real life as well to make it 3 0 against Derby. So this guy is having a, uh, he's having a good time at the moment in the game and in real life. What a goal. Basically, plays like a little one too. <laughs> Bang! Strokes it perfectly. No chance for the goalkeeper. Top in. 2 0 Villa. Happy days. And Niles, Grealish, Bowadu turns his man nicely. Shoot, son! There we go! 3 0. What a turn! This guy. This guy is going to be amazing, honestly. I think he's, what, 18 years old, 17 years old? What a, what a beast. And we signed him for so cheap as well. Bowadu. Good goal, son. Nice play with uh, Grealish as well. Use Grealish there, basically, as a, as a dummy to take his man on. What a goal. Along the floor. Happy days again. 80th minute, so he's probably time for another substitution. Um, who should we bring on? Let's get Cabrera on, I reckon. Let's get, uh, give Grealish a bit of a rest because he does get tired, doesn't he? Cabrera will come on and camp. Let's go. It's so one-sided today, but... Well, he has got a chance to get the cross. Demi. Shit. Sears is through there. Great save from Nylon to keep it, keep a clean sheet. If he can, that'd be nice. Nylon's ball should be. He got a call that for fuck's sake. Keep his ball all day, every day. There we go. 3 0 win to cap the episode off. It's been a great episode this episode. We've seen a lot of players for next season. And a 3 0 win at home against Ipswich. Hopefully, Stoke have uh, messed up a bit. Uh, looks like Yannick Belassi got man in the match, which is good. Goals did come from Yannick Belassi, Bowdu, and Conor Hurahan. So the substitutes making a big difference there. Assist wise, um, Kodja, McGinn. And that's it by the looks of it. Obviously, because Bowdu set his own one up. So, yeah, well done to the boys. So there we have it. We are still second in the league table. Stoke City are still a point ahead. We may as well finish off the transfer window. Some, something might happen, you never know. We've got a player injured. Um, who was, who's injured then? John McGinn. Seven months! Oh, dear. His cruciate ligament's gone. This might be his Aston Villa career mode over. You never know. Um, yeah, I've got some scout reports here. Some random players. 
can't remember who these guys are to be honest. Uh, now nah, I, I thought these guys had a uh, like less than have a god knows how many months left in their contracts, but um, I don't think they have. But yeah, it's fine. We've already we've signed too many players to be, to be honest. Um, we might have outdone it a bit. So that we made profit this season, which is good. So if you can hang, if you can get promoted to the Premier League, oh my shitting god! Fenerbahce just coming for a bid for Jack Grealish, twenty million, twenty millskins. You know what I say to that, mate? I say fuck off. You know? How dare you? How dare you insult Jack Grealish like that? Honestly, Jesus Christ. Moving on. <laughs> uh, to be honest, we could sell him because we are getting a few uh, centre attacking midfielders in the next season, but. We can't. He's our main man. We cannot sign him. So yeah, we, we ain't gonna sign anyone in a in deadline day unless something drastic happens. Uh, Contra coming in with a bid again. We are gonna reject it because we don't need to sell him. Although we have got Bodu. Nah, don't need to sell him. We need him. We want him. He's probably our top goal scorer, so we do need him. Whew. I feel a bit uh. On edge. I don't like when it's trying to deadline day. Oh, we've got two messages. Something could happen still. Bjarnason. Now, this is interesting. We can sell this guy. You know what? I'm just going to accept it straight away. Hopefully, he goes. Offer for Chester. Hmm. We could sell this guy. But do we need to? We don't need to. We can sell him next season if we need to. We don't need to sell him. Uh, we'll keep him. I mean, we need to squad that for this season as well. So, no point, to be honest. I'm happy with the business we've done. And it's just too late now. Morris, he, he, we'll accept it, but he'll probably just reject it, as always. Trying to offer for Hurahan. Nah, we'll keep him. Again, we need to squad depth. Maybe next season will be the season where he leaves Villa, but this season we do need him. So, trying to deadline day is about to slam shut. There we go. It's done. It's over. We have got a lot of players coming in next season. Um. Which I will probably try and show you just now if you can. Squad monthly report coming up as well. Uh, this guy's shit. I think I accidentally signed that guy. He's good. We'll release this guy. Again, I, I only ever sign the 94 rated. Otherwise, your team just gets cluttered up with loads of um, with loads of uh, youth players, basically. So just keep the, the best of the best. It's literally what I do. Yannick Bellassi has suffered a sprained ankle. He's out for three weeks, which is not good. Fuck! I did want to sign this guy as well, because I'm pretty sure he only has six months left, but he isn't that good anyway, so. Loan offer for Lee, which is, you know, is a bit too late now. I think. Well, oh, no, can we still accept it? I don't know, might be a bit too late. See, Morris is, oh, I'll be honest, and talk broke down. We had an offer for Codger, which is too late now as well. I think we can still reject and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's done. Transfer deadline day is done. We'll quickly go over the players that we've signed. Um... So this is it. We've got Holby coming next season. Kwaz, who is a right winger. He's probably going to be like the replacement for Yannick Balassi. This is probably now going to be our third choice goalie. Which at the start he was going to be our first choice. <laughs> Lazar Markovic coming into the club. He's going to be a good right winger. Uh, Al Niron, I've heard good things about this guy. He just looks like an insane. We haven't even scouted him, but he still looks insane just by looking at that. So, uh, Guys, I know he was actually a decent player a few FIFAs back. Maybe his career stagnated a bit, but I think he's going to be good. Avriella, I know he's 81 rated, so we've got a good goalie here. I do believe this guy is another decent goalie, and he's younger. So this guy might be our first first choice. It's going to be a battle between these guys anyway. Amati, he's just going to be a bit of cover. We have uh, lost Yedinak, haven't we? So uh, he'll be a good CDM. You can also play centre-back. Uh, in real life, he just plays centre-back sometimes. Uh, and here it says he can play right-back and centre-mid, so that's good. Diego Reyes, another good centre-back center coming into the club. He's only 26. He can still improve a bit. So, yeah, some decent decent players coming into the club next season. Um, I do believe we are going to get promoted, um, whether it be for the playoffs or automatic. I don't know, but I think we will. Um, but anyway, you know what to do if you like this episode. Subscribe if you're new. Press the like button. It'll help the channel out as much as possible. That'd be great. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.